This is a, uh, a low time linear amplifier in uh, just about like new condition. It's uh, clean. There's obviously no damage, no fried components, no overheated components, no modifications. All just like it came out of the factory at Henry. We'll check the uh, serial number. And I got a feeling this thing is a late production amplifier. These were made up through 2005. And uh, the next version, not much different. Let me show you the serial number here. Ruining my new glasses. The uh, type acceptance uh, name is Tempo 2002A. And there's a serial number 58-0, no, dash 915. There's the rear panel. Looks just like new. No corrosion, no damage, no dirt, no nothing. Of course, this runs on 240 volts, of course. So you're going to want to have a uh, 20 amp 220 240 circuit for this. And there you are. We'll uh, fire it up on the bench here and uh, let you see it work next. Well, sure, shooting somebody's going to ask me how big this thing is instead of looking it up. So I'll show you. It's uh, shy of uh, 20 inches deep, 19 and 3 quarters. You need another, uh, you know, inch or two in the back. And it's uh, 17 and uh, 3 eighths wide, less than 17 and a half wide. And it is less than 10 inches deep. So it's a tabletop linear but you need a good <laughs> table. How heavy is it? Well I picked it up, I'm 74 years old, I picked it up out of the front seat of my Volkswagen, carried it up some stairs, uh, wandered through the shack out here to the porch and uh, put it down by myself and uh, I'm not bleeding so there you go. I think uh, they say 81 or 85 pounds, but uh, it's manageable. Uh, most of the weight is uh, concentrated in the back where the power transformer is. So you keep that next to your body and uh, it ain't bad. So this, uh, this will run for thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. Uh, rated at a kilowatt output sideband and uh, rated at uh, 600 watts uh, FM and I think that's uh, pretty much a continuous rating. Well we got Bessie Smith in the background singing love oh love oh careless love so if you're in love with high power on the uh, two meters uh, this is a, a very reliable way to get there. So let's just look at the plate uh, the uh, front panel. Uh, plate current and uh, you can switch between uh, high voltage and grid current here. Stand by at an operate switch, dirt simple. Here's the input turning. Here's the plate tuning. And the uh, plate loading is that control right there. So you're going to load it up the antenna you usually use it with. It ain't going to change and uh, touch up the plate tuning. Mode switch, switch between sideband and uh, FM. I think, uh, I, I got to look at the manual, but I think they reduce the plate voltage uh, for FM service. Here's a ganked uh, circuit breaker on the front. Pretty darn simple. Standby light. Main power light. Bob's your uncle. So this is the kind of thing that you uh, hook up uh, and uh, tune seldom. 
Um, users uh, reporting uh, 800 watts output with uh, 30 watts of drive. So uh, easy to drive with a, uh, a small radio. You drive it with a 25 watt sideband radio, it'll be loafing along about 750 watts output, probably won't even get warm. <laughs> so there you go, but you need a full kilowatt for moon bounce or annoying your neighbor's garage door, this is uh, the thing. Okay, looking at the rear panel of the uh, Henry 2002 Alpha kilowatt output to 2 meter linear amplifier. Uh, the rear panel couldn't be any simpler. Uh, BNC input, uh, you know, nominal uh, 30, 40 watts drive, 20 watts drive, 25 watts drive. Gonna want to use a uh, relay interface box like one of those uh, little jobs from a Maritron to uh, key the amplifier with. Uh, end connector for the output is as appropriate for this frequency and power level, but uh, can certainly uh, put an adapter on there and use uh, PL259 if you need to, want to. Ground lug, grid meter test point, plate meter adjustment, little uh, one and a half amp uh, fuse probably for the control circuits. Not sure about this little uh, Probably a voltage regulator, let's see, 1N2805, uh, 2805, common little pass transistor probably for a, uh, uh, the uh, control circuits in the radio. That's it. And again, the serial number. 58-915. Made in Los Angeles. Can't beat it. Well, some guy is a little too light in his loafers is going to ask, well, does it have any scratches? Well, it's got a couple. This was in a metal rack, and when I took it out of the rack, it might have gotten scraped a little bit. It's pretty hard to see him, but uh, there's a couple of little scratches there. And... Oh. Similar on the other side, just got dragged uh, coming out of the shelf on the metal shat rack and there might be one tiny little scuff there, probably polish out. So, you know, if the cosmetic police are coming to your house to inspect your radios, uh, you might have to give this a 9.8 and not a 10. Uh, and I'm, I'm very sorry for you if that's a, that's a problem. Well, this thing has some very heavy uh, enamel uh, paint on it. And you can just, I haven't done anything but put a damp rag over this, but you can see how shiny and nice it is. Uh, you can just see the reflections all over. It's really uh, quite a nice radio. Uh, could they have made this radio more compact? They might have been able to make it half this size. Um, but, you know, if you were building it yourself, you'd probably build it this way because everything is very easy to get to inside. Uh, everything is, uh, is very easy and it's going to run cool and uh, last a long time. So that's, that's the good news. It takes up some space on the table, uh, but it's going to, you know, it's a linear amplifier. It's going to sit on a shelf. Uh, it's going to get two wires uh, running up to it, and it's just going to sit there and uh, pump out the power. And uh, so it doesn't—it doesn't, uh, doesn't really matter.